when things don't go your way, you, it can be miserable 24 hours after a game, which I suppose means you care. Um, maybe it means you're in the right job because if you're getting goosebumps watching your bowlers bowl, then I suppose that's a positive. Cricket, there is it. There are injuries that are going to occur, and you know the the intensity that our fast bowlers go at. They're, they're bound to get injured at some stage, and they're also young. Well, I just I, I was sitting inside the room actually, uh, watching behind the glass. Um, the players were sort of getting quite fiery and. Um, and he executed it last night perfectly in that last over. And I think potentially that was match winning. Sean, uh, excellent bowling by our bowlers, especially in the absence of Shaheen, Wasim Jr. The way Naseem, Shah Nawaz, Haris and now even Hasnan responded. How, how satisfied are you as a coach? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. Um, that's for sure. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not really about how I'm feeling, I suppose it's about the captain and, and the players themselves, you know. Um, you know, T20, especially India, Pakistan, are high pressure games and you want the players to be happy and when things don't go your way, you, it can be miserable 24 hours after a game, you know. You, you, are, you might be embarrassed or um, feeling down about a performance. So when it goes well, um, you have to enjoy those moments. I saw you when Naseem was running in yesterday and you were getting the goosebumps. Yeah, I, I, I do see myself in our, in, in, in our bowlers. Um, I mean, I'm sure plenty of other ex, ex bowlers would say the same thing, you know, but I think when, when Naseem's running in um, and the crowd is, is cheering and, and there's a play and miss or whatever it might be, or even a boundary, whatever, um, the, the roar of the crowd um, was just phenomenal in this, in this match. So I think, um, and you, obviously as, as a bowling coach, you want them to do well so badly. Um, and to see him in that first game against India, hit the stumps and all that stuff, it just, uh, I did have the goosebumps, uh, the, the goosebumps on. So, which I suppose means you care. Um, maybe it means you're in the right job because if you're getting goosebumps watching your bowlers bowl, then I suppose that's a uh, positive. Obviously, we have uh, seen some of the injuries in the camp. Uh, mm. How would you like to, you know, yeah. speak about it? Yeah, I think you can, <clears throat> you can dissect it all you want. Um, you can pick at it. Uh, there's no good blaming anybody um, like that. You know, cricket. There is it. There are injuries that are going to occur, and you know the the intensity that our fast bowlers go at. They're, they're bound to get injured at some stage, and they're also young. So when you're a young cricketer coming into international cricket, you there's a good chance you're going to get injured because okay, your workload goes up, but the pressure and the, the pressure goes up. You're tense. You're playing against India, um, and that can sometimes you know you, when your body's tensed up, you can get a few n niggles here and there. Um, so look. We, we sat down a couple of months ago in, in back in Lahore as a as a support staff, and we were talking about it. And, and I was sort of saying, you know, I think I think probably the most important part of my job is getting the next guys ready. Um, so the the other two, three fast bowlers in the squad that aren't playing, especially the younger guys, haven't played much. Get them ready to come in against India, against Australia, against England, whoever it might be, um, and they can deal with the pressure. How do you want to share the excitement in the dressing room? What did you see last night as we were closing to the win? Well, I just I, I was sitting inside the room actually, uh, watching behind the glass. Um, the players were sort of getting quite fiery and, and excited, um, but obviously we we weren't sure about the win until right at the end. Um, so I think and, and people were moving, so and, and the players were sort of telling everyone not to move in there from their spots you know, the whole lucky spot thing. So every time someone would move, the players would yell and say, don't move, don't move, because um, we were going okay. So just a usual excitement when you're, when you're a chance of winning a close, a close match. Do you want to say something about the experience with Pakistan in high voltage matches, like from, from Australia perspective? Yeah, I mean, yeah, people have said, you know, you wait till, wait till you see one of these matches or you're involved in one of these matches. I've seen them before. But um, yeah, I played, when I was very young, I played in the Ashes series. Um, I played in a World Cup final, like two World Cup finals. Um, this is, I think this was a different level. I think this, you know, as a coach, you can't do anything. You can't, so on the field, you can't control anything. So you actually get more nervous as a coach, I think. Um, but this India, Pakistan, and my wife is Indian, right? So I used to, I spent a lot of time, I've spent a lot of time in India. I've, I've lived in India um, and a lot of friends from India now, obviously being a part of Pakistan. Um, that's, that's quite special for me, actually. So. I would say this is as good as I've, as big and as good as I've ever seen. What was your moment, if you want to pick one of the moment from last night, what was your moment? Oh, Harris Ralph's last over for me. I think, um, okay, we had a, a, a misfield and a drop catch. Put that aside, 
because that's a fast bowling coaching thing or a fast bowling thing, he's been working so hard on his Yorkers and his slower balls like the other guys have. Um, and he executed it last night perfectly in that last over. And I think potentially that was match winning. 